what's up everybody david burns good to be with you today i'm excited to get into this hive and it's time to start doing some mite test you know we uh, need to look in here make sure that the mite levels are low in this hive i'm trusting they are because i replaced the queen so there was a brood break and so we're going to uh, do a mite test i'm going to do an alcohol wash some of you might want to do uh, your powdered sugar test instead of an alcohol wash just keep in mind that most people agree that an alcohol wash is a bit more accurate in the mite count. But we're going to take you through the whole process. Let's get started. Okay, so to do our mite test, we're going to drop down in here to a box that has larvae on it. The uh, larvae is uh, a, a place where we're going to see more mites. Mites like to jump in um, on, on the larvae just before they're capped over because mites reproduce in the capped over uh, pupae. So I think this was a frame that I saw that had some larvae on it. Not on that side. I'm going to pop in here while I'm looking for larvae and say please subscribe guys. I appreciate you subscribing. We're approaching 147,000. I appreciate you subscribing so much and give me a thumbs up. Click on the bell. You'll be notified each time I make a new video. Doesn't cost you anything. It just keeps you part of my beekeeping community. So please subscribe. Now let's keep looking for more larvae. Okay, this is the frame of larvae. Now, what we need, we need all of these bees to test, but since we haven't found our queen yet, we don't want to alcohol wash our queen. So what we're going to do is scan very carefully for any sign of a queen on here. So we're just going to look because we don't want to kill our queen. It's always better to find your queen, isolate her before you do a mite test. But if you can't, then this look really good. Now we're going to scan the bottom, make sure she's not crawling across the bottom. We're going to roll over and look at this side for the queen. All right, looking good. And I don't see her at all. So we're going to use this frame to test for mites to see what the mite count is. Now here there's a little pile up, so we're going to just double check that we don't have the queen being covered up by a pile up of bees. Okay. All right, we don't see anything. We're going to test the other side one more time. And go to all that trouble, you don't want to kill your queen. No, this is good. All right, so I'm going to get a, a top cover, different from the one on the hive, just to give me a work table. And so to do an alcohol wash, I like these Saracel uh, containers. They work out really good. You want to make sure you don't have any mites in there from the last time you used it, so clean it all out really good. This has uh, little pieces of debris, but no mites. All right. Got a little dirt in there, though. We'll wipe it off, clean it out good. And then we want to put our alcohol in here up to the line. Let's see if I can find that magical line. There it is, this thing right here. It's got a little built-in arrow pointing out. So as you can see, this container, what we're going to do, it's got a little uh, arrow, a little piece of plastic. That shows us where we want to put our alcohol level up to. And so we'll pour that in there. That's too bad. This container is pretty dirty, but I can tell the difference between dirt and mites. <laughs> I should have cleaned it a little better. That's close enough. That's right on the arrow tip. Okay, so just to, just so you can know, you can see a little dirt in the bottom. I should have been vigilant about cleaning this out better, but those aren't mites. Mites are easily seen. We'll, we'll see some probably, and we'll be able to tell the difference. So we've got this set aside over here. Don't spill that on your bees. It kills bees. All right, so we're going to start with this frame here. And again, I'm, I'm just looking for my queen. One last little check. <clears throat> It'd be like if we found her, we'd be like, oh my gosh, I almost killed her. Well, we don't see her. All right. So we're going to take our cup. Now, a lot of people do this different ways. Uh, one of the ways is shake all these off in a box and then scoop them up. We could do that. But I'm just going to roll this back until I get this cup filled up roll it backward. So if you watch, the bees are going to basically fall into the cup.
All right, so that gives me around 300. We got him in the alcohol. So now we want to put the lid on it. I'm glad you caught that. All right. All right, so now we just slosh it around like this. It doesn't really take that long of sloshing. Uh, maybe just a couple of minutes here and the mites are gonna dislodge from uh, these bees. And they're gonna fall to the bottom and we can hold it up and look underneath and get a pretty good mite count. But do be careful, try not to get the alcohol near the hive, kind of stay away a little bit. And the nurse bees that fell here, we'll just uh, shake them back over there. All right, that should be enough. One, two, three, that's not one there. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'm counting twelve. So you would expect to see nine or less. Nine would give us a three percent out of three hundred. So we're a little bit over, we've got a, we're about three over. Yeah, three over. So in this case, it's uh, early in the year, so it's a good, good opportunity for us to actually treat, maybe with some Formic Pro, and to knock these mite levels down. As you can tell, mite levels are kind of high, and especially for this time of the year, and seeing that they've been queenless, uh, mites, and they don't have a lot of capped over brood, that means the mites are pretty high, actually. So we're a little bit over the uh, mark of three per 300, and so uh, a three per 100. But what we want to do now is uh, probably drop some Formic Pro pads in here because Formic Pro works really good for me for a flash kill. And it will just knock down all the mites pretty quickly and get me off to a better spring start. Now you can do other methods like a screen bottom board or a green drone comb, but in this case, I just don't have enough traction yet on this new queen to, to drop in my drone comb, and so I'm just gonna have to do a formic uh, kill on these bees. I know some of you use acylic acid. It'd be a good time if that's your thing. That'd be a good time to do it too because it's low on brood, and so you'd have a really good kill with something like acylic acid or formic pro. I just caught a swarm the other day and I had to climb a kind of a dangerous tree to do it. You might wanna watch that video on, you know, getting a swarm out of a tree right here. It might help you when you have a swarm. I'll see you guys over there.